Yo, what's up guys? It's really here and welcome to my channel. And today you're gonna be using this Festival King team. You gotta bring back the boy King, one of the most favorite and best festival units in the game. But we're gonna pair him alongside of uh, Blue Hawk Oslo. Now, if you don't know, Blue Hawk Oslo is pretty much a buffer for the Festival King team in a way. The only problem was like he happened like way too late. Like the King team was so outdated that having Blue Hawk Hawk Oslo didn't even matter as much. Now what he does is pretty much increases the damage um, of all enemies taken from Poison Bleed and Shock Debuff by 35%, which is going to mean that if I do one punch them with um, Festival King, they are going to get nukes. I'm going to be completely honest. Now you're probably wondering like, yo, Merle, why you don't have no Super Awakening on Hawk Oslo? And pretty much there's no Super Awakening rule in PvP right now. So I'm kind of free of doing anything I want to with units. All I have to have is the costumes for the unit. You're pretty much going to be good. And I guess dupes counts as well. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Now I'm using Festival Gother so I can counter Margaret teams to stop them from cleansing. So this is going to be pretty interesting to see. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Make sure you guys like and subscribe again. And can I get a yay hello yay in the comments, boys? Woo! All right, boys. Ooh, we got a Margaret team. Uh-uh-uh. Looks like we're about to eat, boys. Um, with Blue Hawk Oslo. That means my one punch power is gonna be a lot stronger. So first I gotta stop his buffs. Um, I'm assuming he's gonna probably throw Tarmio stance sooner or later. Um, but if I can get rid of his Margaret or get another uh Gotha card, I still should be good. Ooh, and we do get it. So we can definitely spam more um poison cards at him. And the good thing is we can take away his gauge as well by doing this. So it's perfect for me. I actually want to see this one punch damage on his Margaret as well. Um, the bad thing is I don't have Festival Zeldris or anything like that to boost my stats, which sucks. What it happens? Um, and let's see this one punch power. This is with the stance being up. I just want to see real quick. All right. Let's see how much damage we can do. Oh my God, 35k. <laughs> Yo, 35k with the stance being up is crazy. All right, he's just he just pretty much spamming again, which is fine with me. Like it doesn't really affect me as much. Oh my god, look at that point! Y'all see that poison damage? <laughs> oh my god! Well, he's obviously gonna try to take away his gauge right here. Then, dude, that poison damage is insane. Oh my god. That poison bleed and shock. Dude, how are you gonna live from this? Oh my god, wait, I just thought about it. He cleans after that. <gasps> oh wait, I got my ultimate. Okay. I forgot he using Goddess Elizabeth so you revived. I literally forgot completely. Wait, he's not gonna cleanse? He has to cleanse right here. Unless he doesn't wait, what? I'm gonna say cleanse my guy jesus just cleanse unless he just really wants his ultimate yeah he wants to turn me out ultimate too bad i'm not gonna let him get it all right he takes away my gauge as well um i guess i'm gonna do this do some damage to you and we can take away your gauge as well Oh my god. Oh my god. And I attack him too? Oh yeah, it is over. GG. Tarmio is gone. That's a straight gold card. And my damage gets boosted because he has more old gauge orbs. And he has blue guilt on in the back. Yeah, this is gonna be game. Oh my god. Yo, Hawk Oslo in the back is fire. I'm not even gonna lie. I would use him in the front, but I really need that passive. All right, boys. What we got to get? Oh, another market player. Looks like we eating again, boys. We eating. This time we got Sario. But Sario ended up having um, a silver card instead, which is good for me. That means he can't use his card. Um, I'm going to just debuff right here. I need to get as many uh, go through debuff cards as possible with this, with this guy. Cause I saw with the stance, I couldn't even 
kill off his Margaret. So I gotta stop that that um, cleanse. Nice. That's perfect. Cause I gotta stop that cleanse. Cause once he gets that cleanse, I'm pretty much done for. Oh, he goes for normal Gother. Okay. He's trying to get as much chip damage as he can on Gother to stop these um. No way, he nukes me. <gasps> oh my god, you have to be crazy. Oh my god, are you serious? He nukes me with that. Oh man, that sucks, son. I was not expecting him to nuke me with that. Oh, that sucks. All right, I'm just going to do this then. Get rid of his Margaret. I was not expecting Sorry to do that much damage, though. Oh, my God. It, it's sorry. Oh, never mind. Oh, man. That's a lot of damage. I'll take it. That is a lot of damage. And the good thing about um, Hawk also, he has, like, corrosion. Oh, my God. He has Goddess Elizabeth, though, in the back. Ugh. I got his Elizabeth in the back, dude. That's gonna be painful. He's throwing up stance as well. He's gonna take a lot of bleed damage from this, though. Dude, why is Sario doing so much damage? This is crazy. Sario just doing so much damage to me. Um, this is just pretty much bleed damage. But if I can spam this enough, um, I should be good. If I can spam it enough. All right. Yeah, he takes all that damage. And Tarmio is gone. So now he doesn't have any um old gauge control. He has to he has to kill off Festival King or stun me. That's pretty much what he has to do right now. He got a stun? No way. Yeah, he got some crazy perfect RNG then. Yeah, he has some perfect RNG. Um, I still can um throw out more debuffs on him. Pretty much. So I can throw out the corrosion. Throw out the bleed as well. And let's debuff him. This is a crazy clean. This is a good matchup. There we go. We got the corrosion as well. Come on. Nice. 16k. That's not bad damage. And we debuff right here again. So you lose old gauge control again. Yep, he lost it again. Oh my god, he got a merge from that? No way. Oh, that was huge. Wait, I have two ultimates. Ultimates. That means Sario has to um. He has to nuke my Henderson now. Let's go. I'll take that. I'll take that. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's give it to you. And Hawk Oslo, you can get the winning win animation. Dude, this is such a clean match. Holy snap. That was so close. This was such a clean match, bro. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. Yeah, this is a really good one. I like it. Hey, I like that. All right. Oh, I saw Mo Mo Melio. This is going to be ill. Holy snap. And he's ult control. And he's ult. Oh, man. Yeah, this is going to probably be a hard L for me. This is most likely going to be a hard L. Like, what do I do against this? He's going to just nuke me. Um, Maybe do this. And stop his silver card then. Ah, Channel is going to throw his stance on me. I really can't do nothing. Hopefully that was the amplifier card. I guess he if he tries to like try to nuke me then um I can try to one punch his um Summo Meliodas. I guess Lily, that's the only thing I could do. I have to wait till he not throw his stance though. <sighs> if he doesn't throw that stance, I think I could get rid of Meliodas. I think I could. Ah, uh, he's gonna throw up that stance. Yeah. Yep. Oh wait, he doesn't. Oh, he just stops my bleed effect. He goes for Henderson. Interesting. 
I think I could one punch a Summo Meliodas though. I think I low key could. I gotta start with this one and then do this. I think I could kill him off. I think I could low key. <gasps> Let's go. Ugh. All right, no more debuffs. I don't know why he didn't attack me right there, but let's go. All right, no more debuffs. Um, he has Zeltris as well. Chandler's gonna have to debuff me again right here, or I'm gonna have to just bleed him. Cause he's not gonna get rid of Henderson so fast. I'm surprised he didn't go for Festival King and just try to kill him off. All right, there you go. He's he's now starting it up. He's gonna debuff me again. I'll throw his stance. Oh, uh, he just throws with his stance, which doesn't even matter to me, because he's almost dead anyways. Yeah, he's just literally almost dead. Um, I stop his silver cards then. Do this, and I believe he needs a bleed. Yeah, he needs a bleed on him. So we do that to stop the silver cards from Zeldris. Nuke him right there. And then we got the bleed so we can take away his old gauge. That's fire. Dude. All right. I'm trying my best to win this. I look. Yeah. GG. He could have won it if he went hard with his assault mode Meliodas, but he just tried to push for his ultimate instead. GG though. All right. Oh, this is the same person. All right. I think he's going to go hard with assault mode Meliodas this time. This is the same guy from before. I think this time he's really going to go hard with this guy. Um, so I don't know. Just throw my. Yeah, I think he's gonna go hard this time with Meliodas and get rid of my king because King Lily just one punched this dude. So I, I I don't see him not going for King. Like I literally don't see him not going for King right now. All right, is he gonna debuff King or debuff Gother? Because Gotha can stop the gold cards, but. All right, he does debuff me, which I think that's a waste, in my opinion. Because now, because I'm so close to my ultimate gauge, I can just force him to um, attack my Henderson instead. I just move my card like that and just doing this. So he can't go for a silver card right now. So all he can use is bronze. And he has to use one of his card for my Henderson right here. Unless he has a debuff card? I'll suck if he does, but okay. I mean, if he has a debuff card, I can't do nothing about that one. Yeah, I would say he has to take with my gauge. Mm -hmm. He has to waste a card on that one. He's probably going to use both his Soul Mobility cards. Yep, he does. Um, Oh, he didn't use the Amplifier card? Interesting. It took a lot of it took a lot of damage right there. I don't know if I can one shot him now. Actually, yes I could, right? Just using the bleed the Actually no, I can't even use that card. Um to use a bleed, do this and do that. Alright, let's see. Oh 57, come on, come on. Clutch it up. Let's go. 42k. Face this man again. He still couldn't do nothing. Tell you, man, that blue hawk Oslo in the back just does so it just lets you do so much damage to people. Yeah, GG, man. GG. That's what King is just a god. Um, let's go. This is a Gother player. Okay. Red Gother. What the? Um, alright. Red Gother. Very interesting. Um, right, I'm just gonna do this where I regularly just debuff him. I'm very scared about Red Gother just because, um, I don't want to get attacked still. But good thing he can't use his rank ups now, so he has to use a basic bronze stance. And oh, we're getting a massive amounts of one punch. Let's go. I'll take the one punches. The sad thing is, he's using Red Gother, so it's not like he can ult control me. Except for, I mean, oh, Tarmio can, Tarmio kill it. Does this, does this guy only knows Tarmio ultimate? I think, I think that's what it is. He only knows Tarmio ultimate, so. 
He just goes for that instead. All right. Oh, yeah. He just wasted more. He wasted a lot of cards. Yeah, he just knows Tarmio Ultimate. He's like, yo, I've been winning all my matches by just, you know, going for Tarmio Ultimate. Let me do it again. I, I feel you, my dude. I feel you. All right, so all we have to do is get rid of Margaret. And we're good. He's going to lose Gage next turn, so I guess it doesn't really matter to me. All right, he, see, he sees he's at five gauge. He's like, oh, yeah, I'm good. And then, boom, take away his gauge. Uh, Goddess Lisbeth is in the back, too, which is disgusting. So, I mean, that's probably why he's using Red Gelter. But now he can rank up. He can rank up now, which I know you're happy about. Is this a gold stance or I think it is. Oh, it's not. It's a regular one. Then what's that gold card in his hand? Oh, oh, control, oh, control. I'm like, I, I'm like, he's probably happy about this, man. Um, I needed what? Sh I got poison, shock. I need bleed on him. All right, let's do this. And then that. Pretty sure you get one punch right here. Or close to one punch. All right, first revive right there, and Tarmio is gone. I think he's gonna forfeit right here. I guess it's gonna be the last match, just because you know I just been punishing people with this team. I mean, the team works. It's just that my Hawk Oslo has like literally no costumes, cause I don't use Hawk Oslo. Like, there's some units in the in the game where I just be like, yo, I am not summoning for this. Like, I see, like I be just seeing like, yo, what could I do with this unit if I do something? And for Hawk Oslo, I didn't see anything. I, I couldn't see anything for that man. So I just said, yo, I'm not pulling this. Um, I'm just gonna do this then. I'm telling you, like, there's some units where I look like, yo, I should summon for this because this could be fun for a video. But Hawk Oslo, he just didn't like impress me. Especially when it was like the moment where like King Ting was like absolutely dead. I'm just sitting there like, yo, I am not about to suffer in PvP trying to try out a, a festival king team. I think it was like Glue Eater at the time. Glue Eater. Everyone was running like some high DPS Glue Eater team. High CC Glue Eater team. I'm just sitting there like, yo, I am not doing this to myself. All right. I punished myself enough in PvP. Like I could run a full R team in PvP and have some fun with it. When it's the SRR buff rule. But me just running like Festival King with like a unit that I'm gonna have to use like 15 pennants to build about 50 Super Awakening coins, let alone my gems to build up. I better have the most use with that with that unit, all right? Or enjoy it. And Hawk Oslo, I never enjoyed that unit. Even the red one, I didn't even enjoy. But since a lot of people just told me like, yo, this unit is like whale unit because you know he gets like um for two turns on his ultimate instead of one and i'm just like yeah not for me not for me but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video with me using blue ahawk oslo obviously he just pretty much buffed up festival king damage and also the debuff damage that, we, that you saw allowing us to pretty much finish off people pretty fast um i didn't really have any problems with this guy's team especially i guess the big problem is you going first but if you're a person who have hawk oslo with costumes you're gonna have better cc than me um obviously my festival king is six out of six my Henderson was only level 80, so you bump his bump him up to like level 90. That's more CC there. That's what go through six out of six. Um, and you're pretty much gonna be good. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe again to this channel. Um, let me know down below what other units you want to see me use, especially since there's no super awakening rule. It allows me to use some units that I shouldn't be using, but it's still alright. But hopefully you guys enjoy. This is Milty guys, and I'm out. Peace.